In the quiet spaces of our existence, where the hum of the universe whispers secrets, we seek the truth about our soul's evolution. Our souls, those luminous fragments of the cosmos, are on a quest, a timeless traversal through the fabric of reality. But why? Why do we persist in this seemingly endless cycle? In seeking the truth, we uncover not a singular path, but a multifaceted journey that is as unique as each star in the night sky, yet as universal as the darkness that cradles them. We come into being, not as blank slates, but as ancient texts filled with the hieroglyphs of countless lifetimes, each symbol a story, each glyph a lesson. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, does not thrust upon us a labyrinth without a purpose. Our soul's evolution is not a test, but rather an opportunity for expansion, an invitation to grow beyond the boundaries of our current understanding. The soul's journey is not linear. It spirals and dances in rhythms that defy the constraints of time. We, who are conscious of this voyage, must recognize that we are not merely human beings on a spiritual journey, but indeed, spiritual beings on a human journey. Our time on Earth is a chapter in a grander, more elaborate epic that spans the cosmos. In this chapter, we are offered a physical vessel, a body, with which to experience the tangible, to interact with matter, and to learn the lessons that only flesh can teach. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lessons. What are these lessons? They are the truths that unfold within the trials and triumphs of life. It is through love and loss, joy and sorrow that we gain the depth of character our souls thirst for. We might view our challenges as obstacles, but they are truly the curriculum of a profound education system designed by the universe itself. Each heartbreak, each failure, is a chisel strike in the sculpture of our soul, revealing more of our true form. Yet, our soul's evolution is not a solitary affair. We are connected, each to the other, by threads of energy that bind our destinies together. Our interactions are not mere chance, but choreographed encounters that provide the mirror we need to see our reflection. How often do we recognize ourselves in another, in their struggles, their aspirations, their humanity? These reflections are not coincidences, but serendipitous moments crafted for us to gain insight. And what of intuition? that quiet guide that nudges us gently towards certain paths and away from others. It is the language of the soul, a dialect we all possess but often fail to understand. Our intuition is the compass gifted to us by the universe, and to evolve, we must learn to trust this inner guidance system. Think of the last time your intuition spoke to you. Did you listen? What was the outcome? In the theater of life, we play many roles. Each incarnation is a character, a set of experiences, and a perspective. Through these roles, we amass knowledge, not just of the world, but of ourselves. But do we allow our roles to define us, or do we use them as instruments to express the music of our soul? Reflect on the roles you have played. Have they been a costume you've worn, or have they shaped the essence of who you are? The soul's evolution is marked by the release of that which no longer serves its journey. Attachment, while a natural human tendency, can be a shackle to the spirit. Letting go is not a sign of defeat, but an act of courage. It is the understanding that our essence is not diminished by the absence of people, possessions, or positions. Have you ever held on to something long after it was time to let it go? What did it take to finally release it, and how did that change you? Our evolution is also an act of creation. We are not passive participants in our journey, but active creators of our destiny. Every thought we nurture, every decision we make, paints the canvas of our future. In recognizing our creative power, 
we take responsibility for the reality we manifest. Have you ever created a situation with the sheer force of your will, whether positive or negative? How did this realization affect your subsequent choices? The soul's journey is a tapestry of learning, and our planet is a classroom rich with diversity. Nature, with its cycles and seasons, teaches us about change and renewal. Cultures, with their traditions and philosophies, offer us a kaleidoscope of perspectives. Through engagement with the world, we become students of life, and in turn, life becomes a reflection of our inner state. As we near the conclusion of this first part of our exploration, consider the idea that the soul's evolution is not a destination but a process. It is not something we complete, but something we experience moment to moment. Our journey is not a race to enlightenment, but a walk through the garden of existence, where every step reveals a new landscape, a new scent, a new melody to enrich the soul. The evolution of the soul is akin to the blooming of a flower. It is an unfolding, a gradual revealing of beauty and complexity that was always present, just beneath the surface. We must tend to our inner gardens with the same dedication a master gardener bestows upon their most precious blooms. This means nurturing ourselves with kindness, with truth, and with the light of awareness. Have you ever noticed how your inner state can influence your outer world? How can the quality of your thoughts and emotions shape your experiences? We must also consider the role of silence in our evolution. In the stillness, away from the clamor of the world, we can hear the subtle rhythms of our soul. Silence is not empty. It is replete with the deepest answers to our most profound questions. In silence, we can connect with the pulse of the universe and our place within it. When was the last time you allowed yourself to be enveloped in silence, and what wisdom did it impart? The soul's evolution is, in part, an acceptance of paradox. We come to realize that strength is found in vulnerability, that giving can be received, and that in the emptiness of not knowing, we find the greatest wisdom. Have you ever encountered a paradox that, once embraced, offered you greater insight into the nature of your being? Ultimately, the evolution of the soul is about love. Love is the most potent force in the universe. It is the essence of our being and the ultimate lesson we come here to learn. Love is not just an emotion, but a state of being, a way of interacting with the world that elevates our vibration and aligns us with the divine. Consider the moments when you have acted from a place of unconditional love. How did that affect you and those around you? As we close this segment of our exploration, carry with you the understanding that the soul's evolution is not a solitary journey. We are in this together, connected by the very fabric of existence. Our individual growth contributes to the collective awakening. Your evolution is a gift to the world, just as the world is a gift to you. The journey continues, and as we transition to the next part of our exploration, let us hold in our hearts the intention to live with purpose, to create with love, and to evolve with grace. The Labyrinth of Inner Alchemy In the grand dance of the cosmos, where stars are born and galaxies spin in majestic silence, we find the soul engaged in an intimate process of alchemy. This ancient art, once believed to turn lead into gold, is a potent metaphor for our inner transformation. The soul's evolution is the ultimate alchemy, transmuting the leaden weight of our fears and limitations into the golden light of awareness and understanding. The journey within is a labyrinth, a maze where we often feel lost, but within this disorientation there is purpose. It is within the winding paths that we encounter aspects of ourselves long buried or ignored. These shadowed parts of our psyche hold the keys to our liberation. 
They are the guardians of our growth, challenging us to confront them, to recognize them, and to integrate them into our being. Integration is not a smooth process. It is messy and challenging. It requires us to extend compassion to ourselves, to forgive ourselves for our perceived failings, and to embrace every facet of our being with acceptance. In doing so, we do not become less. We become more, more whole, more authentic, more powerful. How have you faced the challenges within your own labyrinth, and what treasures have you found in its depths? The alchemy of the soul is also reflected in our relationships. Each person we encounter is a mirror, a teacher offering us a chance to see ourselves more clearly. Through our interactions, we are given the chance to practice the art of love, patience, and forgiveness. These qualities are not just social virtues. They are the very tools of our transformation. Can you recall a relationship that served as a crucible for your personal growth? Moreover, our relationship with the environment is a direct expression of our inner state. Do we treat the world around us with respect and care, or do we move through it with indifference? The earth is a living entity, a sacred being that supports our physical existence. Our connection with nature can be a profound teacher showing us the cycles of life, death, and rebirth that are intrinsic to our soul's evolution. When was the last time you felt a deep connection with the natural world, and how did it reflect your inner journey? The alchemy of the soul requires presence. To be present is to be fully engaged with the now, the only moment where life truly exists. Our pasts are memory, our futures, imagination. It is in the present that we have the power to act, to decide, to change. Presence is not just a state of mind. It is a state of being that allows us to experience life in its fullness. The Symphony of Coherent Wholeness In the vast expanse of our universe, each element resonates with a frequency that contributes to a greater harmony. We are part of this celestial symphony, and our souls are instruments tuned by the experiences we gather. The evolution of the soul is a journey towards coherence, a state where our thoughts, emotions, actions, and spirit vibrate in unison, creating a melody that reflects our highest potential. Coherence is not a static achievement. It is a dynamic equilibrium that we must constantly tune. Like a musician practicing scales, we must attend to the varying aspects of our being, ensuring that each is given attention and nurtured into alignment with the others. In this tuning, we discover balance, and in balance, we find peace. Have you ever felt moments of coherence when everything in your life seemed to be in perfect alignment? What did that feel like? This state of wholeness is not only about personal peace. It reverberates outward, affecting the world around us. Our energy, when coherent, can be a source of healing and inspiration for others. We become lighthouses, not by preaching or teaching, but by simply being. Our very presence can uplift those we come into contact with, and this is a powerful form of service. Consider how you can bring more coherence into your life, not just for yourself, but for the benefit of those around you. The pursuit of coherence also invites us into a deeper understanding of the self. We are complex beings with layers that often go unexplored. To evolve, we must be willing to dive into the depths of our soul and embrace the full spectrum of who we are. This means acknowledging our darkness as well as our light. Can you think of a time when facing your own darkness led to a greater sense of wholeness? Our emotions play a critical role in this process. They are the language of the soul, communicating our needs, our desires, and our pains. Rather than suppressing or ignoring our emotions, we must learn to listen to them, 
to understand their messages and to allow them to flow through us like water. Emotions are not obstacles. They are pathways to profound insight. How do you relate to your emotions and how might you engage with them more fully? In the journey towards coherence, we also encounter the power of forgiveness. Forgiveness is not an act of condoning harm. It is a release from the bonds of resentment and anger that hold us back. It is a gift we give ourselves, a liberation that allows us to move forward with grace. Forgiveness is an alchemical process that transforms pain into wisdom. Is there someone you need to forgive, including yourself, to restore coherence in your life? The symphony of coherence also involves our purpose, our unique contribution to the world. Each of us has a set of gifts, passions, and experiences that equip us to fulfill a role that no one else can. Discovering and embodying our purpose is a cornerstone of our soul's evolution. It is when we align our actions with our inner truth that we feel most alive, most useful, most fulfilled. What stirs your heart and how can you align your life to resonate with that calling? Within this symphony, patience is a virtue of great value. The evolution of the soul is not a quick process. It unfolds in divine timing, with each note played at precisely the right moment. We must trust in the timing of our lives, knowing that every experience has its place and its purpose. Patience allows us to remain open to the lessons and to the beauty of the journey. Can you recall a time when patience led to an outcome better than you could have orchestrated on your own? As we move through life, we must also be mindful of the energy we consume. Just as our physical bodies are affected by the food we eat, our spiritual beings are influenced by the energy we absorb. This includes the media we consume, the conversations we engage in, and the environments we inhabit. To maintain coherence, we must choose nourishing energy that supports our well-being and growth. What changes could you make to ensure that the energy you consume is uplifting and beneficial? The path of coherence is one of unity, where we recognize that all aspects of our lives are interconnected. Our health, relationships, work, and spirituality are not separate compartments but threads woven into the same fabric. By seeing the interconnectedness of these threads, we can weave a tapelet of wholeness that reflects the totality of our being. How might you integrate the various aspects of your life into a more harmonious whole? In crafting a life of coherence, we also engage with the principle of rhythm. Everything has its rhythm, the seasons, the tides, the cycles of sleep and wakefulness. By honoring the rhythms of our own lives, we move with the natural flow of events rather than against them. This doesn't mean we relinquish control. Rather, we align our efforts with the currents of life to move more effectively towards our goals. How do you feel the rhythm of your life, and are there rhythms you need to pay more attention to? Finally, the symphony of coherent wholeness is a masterpiece that is never truly finished. It is a work in progress, a composition that evolves with every breath we take. The beauty of this symphony lies in its perpetual transformation, in the way it adapts and grows with each new experience. Our role is to continue playing, to keep listening, and to remain open to the lessons that each note brings. What is the next note you want to play in your symphony? and how will it contribute to the music you are creating with your life? In essence, the journey towards coherence is about alignment, balance, and harmony. It's about tuning into the inner music of our souls and allowing that music to guide us through life's complexities. As we each play our part in this grand symphony, let us do so with intention, with compassion, and with a deep sense of connection to the wholeness that binds us all.
Reflect on these questions and insights as you continue to compose the melody of your life. And remember that each day offers a new opportunity to fine-tune the instrument that is your soul. The universe is listening, and it delights in the music you make. The concept of integration is essential as we continue our exploration of coherence. Integration refers to the process of combining various parts to form a whole, a union that transcends the sum of its parts. In the context of personal growth, integration involves harmonizing the disparate aspects of our being, mind, body, spirit, and emotions. The mind and body are intrinsically linked, often described as two sides of the same coin. The pursuit of integration involves nurturing both with equal care, regular physical activity, balanced nutrition, and sufficient rest are foundational to maintaining our health. Yet, these practices are most beneficial when paired with mental exercises like meditation, critical thinking, and continuous learning. How can I create a daily routine that supports both my mental and physical health? In what ways can I listen more closely to the needs of my body and mind? Emotional Wholeness Emotions are the colors with which we paint our experiences. They add depth and richness to life but can also challenge and confuse us. Integrating our emotional experiences means acknowledging and respecting our feelings without being overwhelmed by them. It's about finding constructive ways to express emotions and learning from them. Do I allow myself to fully feel my emotions, or do I tend to suppress them? What healthy outlets can I establish for expressing my emotions? Spiritual Connection our spiritual life is the compass that guides us towards our true north, whether through organized religion, personal philosophy, or connection with nature, our spiritual practices provide a sense of purpose and belonging. Integration in this context means aligning our daily actions with our spiritual values. How do my spiritual beliefs influence my choices and behavior? What daily practices can I adopt to strengthen my spiritual connection? Integrating Shadow and Light Carl Jung introduced the concept of the shadow, the part of ourselves that we deny or hide from. Integration involves recognizing these hidden parts and bringing them into the light of consciousness. By doing so, we can learn from them and grow. What aspects of myself am I reluctant to acknowledge or accept? How can I compassionately integrate these shadow elements into my self-concept? Relational Synergy Our relationships are mirrors reflecting aspects of ourselves. Healthy relationships are those in which there is a synergy, where the interaction is greater than the simple addition of individuals. Integration in relationships involves honest communication, empathy, and the mutual exchange of support. Do my relationships reflect the qualities I value? How can I foster deeper connections with the people in my life? Purpose and Passion Connecting with our purpose and passion gives life direction and energy. When our daily activities reflect our deeper aspirations, we experience a sense of flow and fulfillment. Integration here means aligning our actions with our inner calling. What am I passionate about, and how can I incorporate that into my life? Does my current lifestyle align with my sense of purpose? The Integration of Experiences Life is a mosaic of experiences, each piece colored by our perceptions and reactions. Integrating our experiences means learning from them, finding the lesson in each, and building a cohesive narrative of our life. How do I make sense of the various experiences I've had? 
Can I find a connecting thread that weaves these experiences into a coherent story? Cultivating Patience and Presence Integration is a gradual process. It requires patience, presence, and a willingness to exist in the moment. By being fully present, we can respond to life's challenges with grace and wisdom. Can I be patient with myself as I navigate the process of integration? How can I cultivate greater presence in my day-to-day -day life? As you ponder these questions and reflect on the concept of integration, remember that this journey is personal and unique. It unfolds at its own pace and rhythm. Celebrate your progress, learn from setbacks, and remain committed to the path of wholeness. Your symphony continues to unfold, note by note, as you integrate the many facets of your being into a harmonious and dynamic whole. In the grand composition of your life, each day presents a new opportunity to strive for harmony. The universe is not only listening, but also singing with you, supporting your every step toward the symphony of coherent wholeness.